Hello guys and welcome back to Foxyard. I'm Credit Fox and today we're going to be building the FDNY New York City Fire Department MERV-1 and that stands for Major Emergency Response Vehicle. Basically like an emergency room on wheels. It can treat multiple casualties at the same time so if there's like a major incident with a lot of people injured this can uh, treat them. And yeah this is what it looks like. So it's basically like a medical bus, mobile uh, emergency center. So on this side, we got like some back doors here, some door here. Uh, we got like the orange stripe across, sorry, the shaders. You know, it's supposed to be red. I guess you're, if you're building it like a regular, you see it's like red inside. The shaders, it makes everything look shadowy. And then it also does have some roof detail um, like that. And uh, yeah, it's actually uh, commissioned by Real Fan Lily. Uh, he commissioned it during our last live stream, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And if you guys want to commission vehicles for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. Alright, to get started, we're going to take out an acacia slab, red nether brick slab, oak slab, smooth quartz block, red concrete, black glass block, um, red nether brick stairs, black concrete. So first off, we're gonna add in um, red nether brick slab covering above the ground, then oak slab, and then two more red nether brick slabs, then a row of acacia slabs. Then we'll add in two red concretes, smooth quartz block, and another red concrete, two blocks tall, black glass, and a two by four black glass, and then a two by two of black concrete, another two black concretes over here, red nether brick stairs over here, red nether brick slab, and then it's going to be um, a diorite wall right there. All right, then on the top, we're going to add in a two by two of smooth quartz block, two blocks wide, red concrete, and smooth quartz stairs to the sides. Then we'll add in a row of acacia fence gates like that. Open the ones on the outside up. Inside of this, we'll add in two dark oak trap doors on either side. We have a polished black stone brick wall underneath. And then we can add in the lights. That's going to be an idea frame with an orange bed. I'm going to rotate so the orange is on the outside part. Then I'm going to add in a polished black stone brick slab here. Red nether brick slab, a polished black stone brick block, and a slab on top. And then the inside part, we're going to add in an acacia block right behind it. And the other side, we're going to add in two red nether brick slabs. Then add another wheel here, acacia slab behind it, acacia slab over here as well, red concrete. On the inside of this, just uh, two blocks wide. It's just slab over here. And then um, polished black stone brick wall right behind the wheel. Uh, with polished black stone brick slab, two blocks wide on the inside of that. And then we can add in um, red nether brick slab right here. And we are going to make it, so it's going to be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add in two more polished black stone brick slabs. And then red nether brick slab. And then we'll add in another wheel here. In the back, pretty much the same design. And then the other side, we're going to skip two blocks. Add in the other wheel. And we'll add in acacia buns to the sides of all of our wheels. Alright, then on this side, let's add in two more red nether brick slabs. And then a row for polished black stone brick slab. Then we'll add in two more red nether brick slabs. Another two red nether brick slabs here, or solid block. And then the other side, do the same thing. Then the middle part, we're going to add in um, two blocks wide, red concrete. And then acacia slab, an upper slab to the edges and the corners. Then on top of that, we'll add in a red nether brick slab like that. Then on the left we're going to add acacia sign, on the right we'll add in birch sign, then we'll add in um, this red bed 
in an item frame it's gonna be upside down for both of them all right then on top here we can add in um there's gonna be this oak stairs be upside down facing towards the front and then we'll add in a polished diorite slab there upside down smooth quartz stairs like that and a red concrete right behind it then we'll add in um smooth quartz slab there a brick slab smooth quartz slab a brick slab and then three smooth quartz slabs and then two red nether brick slab Smooth quartz slab, red nether brick slab, then two more smooth quartz slab. And then the other side here, we'll add in smooth quartz slab, uh, brick slab, smooth quartz, brick slab, smooth quartz. And then there's like this door thing here, so it's going to be two blocks wide. Red concrete at the bottom, and then two blocks wide of black concrete right above it. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slab and then two net red nether brick slab smooth quartz slab um, and then red nether brick slab and then smooth quartz slab three blocks long then we can add in smooth quartz block here make a v-shape so it goes on the inside of this it goes outwards and i think this smooth quartz block just pretty much goes all the way up Back. And we're going to make that four blocks wide and we'll do this side. We'll add in uh, two smooth quartz block here. Skip one, add one. We're going to make it go, make an indent like that. And we can go all the way up to the back. All right, next up in the indent, we're going to add in a warped sign like, I mean a warped um, slab like that, both sides like that. Punch in a hole here. And we're going to add in a lapis azuli with a birch button side that and the other side we'll add another one right here in the middle lapsuli and then a birch button all right then we're going to add in for the rest of this smooth quartz block two blocks wide and then stairs very right edges and we're going to extend it so it goes all the way up to the very back so let's uh, do that right now all right so it should look like this then the back, we're going to add in two blocks wide of dark oak fence gate. In case your fence gate, open it up on the edges. Then on this side, it's going to be a blue glass pane inside of an item frame. Then the other side's going to be a warp button and then two acacia buttons like so. Alright, so um, back onto this side, we can add in smooth quartz slab here. Acacia slab. And then a cache slab here on the other side. And we're going to add in a cache slab on the inside of these, the wheel here. And this side, it's I believe it's pretty much the same thing. So I just rebuilt that, all these slabs here. And then this slab actually goes all the way across to the front, just like that. And then let's check on this side. Um, yeah, I think this side too, it goes all the way up to the front, just like so. And then I'm going to add in the inside of this um, black concrete, two blocks wide. Right in the corner of the wheel for both of the wheels. While the rest of it, it's going to be a red concrete, so let's do that. Red concrete on the inside of this. And it pretty much goes all the way across. And as well as like this layer here as well, red concrete all the way across. All right, fill in that gap. And then the other side, do the same thing. Just fill in everything inside with red concrete. All right, and then we'll add in a warp slab. It'd be one right here. Very cool, and then we'll add in a red nether brick slab going all the way across the bottom here. Those part in red concrete, and we're gonna go right in between this part here, punch in a hole two blocks wide, and we'll add in a dark oak trapdoor two blocks wide like that. 
All right, so next we're going to take out Dark Oak Bun, add one here, another one here, another one here, Stone Bun, one here, Skip one, one here, another one over here, another one over there, and then on the other side, Dark Oak Bun here, a Stone Bun, Trip Wire Hook, Skip a Block, Stone Bun, Dark Oak Bun, and over here is going to be stone button, skip a block, dark oak button. And then we're going to go on the roof. And we're going to add in two acacia buttons here. Another acacia button here. Two birch buttons on top of the red. And we're going to add an iron trap door. It's got to line up in between where this gap is. Right there, just on one side. Add another one that's got to line up with the back wheel. Like that. And then this one, it's like lines up with this button here. That a flower pot. Or the exhaust pipe just like so all right so let's make these three banners so go inside the loom first banner gray banner um black dye border that's pretty much it next banner is going to be black banner uh with red dye i'm going to make a line across the middle horizontally put it back inside add in black dye on the top half of it so you make that red line thinner and then put it back inside and red dye border around it. So that's the second one and the last one's going to be black banner with white dye border. Put it back inside and then white dye across the bottom. I mean the upper third of it. So once we have all these three banners, we're going to add black banner, two of them here. The front for the doorway and then the back one, two white on top and then the red ones two on the bottom like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the FDNY Merv in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks again to Railfan Lily for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in doing a commission, check out the link in the description. But anyways, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.